let's talk about the next group of drugs, the ACE inhibitor or the ARB. The angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or the ARB are medicines that we typically will use for high blood pressure. Um, they limit the amount of angiotensin the body makes and angiotensin makes the arteries of the body get really tight so it makes the blood pressure go up. So if we inhibit it, the blood vessels relax and the blood pressure goes down. We started using these in heart failure and we found that there were huge benefits. Patients felt better, they lived longer, and they stayed out of the hospital. So um, all the studies show that this was a drug that benefited heart failure patients. And it didn't matter if they had high blood pressure or not. If their blood pressure was normal or low, we would still start these medicines. And we got an, a benefit of these three things we just talked about. Symptoms improved, hospitalizations reduced, and their life was prolonged. The ACE inhibitors are drugs that you would know as the PRIL drugs. Enalapril, lisinopril, bosinopril. Um, these drugs are now generic. They're cheap. You can get $5 a month at HEB or Walmart. This is lifelong therapy. Um, this is a pill that I tell my patients you will never stop. Unless your heart doctor stops it or a kidney doctor stops it, you will remain on this drug till the, the very end. Um, a common side effect of these drugs are a cough. And um, I'm sure you've all heard the patient say, you know, I just start coughing and I can't stop. Yeah, that's a very common side effect. Also, um, this drug can make elevation of potassium in the bloodstream. So it helps with the potassium issue. It can cause blood pressures to get too low. So we have to really watch these people for low blood pressures. And there's also a, 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 another side effect called angioedema. And this is um, more common in our African-American population. They'll take an ACE inhibitor, and um, when you take an ACE inhibitor, it, the, there's a, a release or an accumulation of a chemical called bradykinin. That's what causes the cough that we see. But bradykinin can make um, African-Americans that are very susceptible to it develop this angioedema, which is basically swelling around the lips, their tongue, and their throat. So it can be very dangerous. So I would always warn my African-American patients, if you start noticing that your lips are getting swollen, tingly, or the tongue starts to swell, you, know, you need to go to the emergency room and stop this medication. So if a patient can't tolerate the ACE inhibitor because they've developed a cough, they've developed angioedema, we use the angiotensin receptor blocker, um, an ARB. And um, they work the same. They both inhibit the renin angiotensin system. Um, just one doesn't have the side effects. So uh, your ARBs are the Losartan, the Valsartan, the Candesartan. You would probably recognize them more as Kozar and Diovan. And again, these can be used interchangeably. Uh, we typically will start with one of the Pril drugs, one of the ACE inhibitors, and if they don't tolerate, then we'll move to the, the ARB. A word of caution to using these two drugs, whether it's the ACE inhibitor or the ARB, is you need to tell your patients to avoid use of any of the anti-inflammatory drugs. Those are your ibuprofen, your Advil, your Aleve, Motrin. When you take those drugs on top of an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, it interferes with the benefit of the drug. So we tell our patients do not take the two together. Um, it can cause the heart failure to get worse by causing fluid retention. It can also cause a renal injury. So unfortunately, our patients with uh, arthritis and aches and pains, you know, Tylenol is probably the safest bet for them. But always reinforce, do not take um, Aleve, Motrin, Advil, those type of drugs. 